Hello YouTube, thank you for tuning in. This is Ambi. Today we will talk about another Python topic and that will be Python mm, error handling. Okay, I will say Python error handling. Right, Python 3.6. Okay. All right, so what is Python error handling? Well, before uh, we talk about Python error handling, let's um, create a need or show uh, what is the need for it. We will say regular if one is less than two, that is true. Then I will say print hello world. I will press shift enter, it prints hello world. What if I remove this? It gives an EOF error. Now, what if I to remove this invalid syntax, right? So you have a lot of errors which can come up, right? And you want to know how to handle them, right? You want to be prepared. Uh, if, let's say you are writing a you know big uh, class file or an application. You don't want to run further code. Let's say it throws an error or exception. You want to stop uh, running everything after that. You first handle that and then you move on, right? You want to have an action prepared for that. Let's um, elaborate on that. Let's take another example, x equals uh, integer. So I'm going to say it has to be integer and I'm going to say input. So I'm asking for user's input. Please enter. Okay, so you might notice that I'm using Python Jupyter Notebook now, uh, not IDE. Uh, this is my choice. I think, you know, if you are someone who is learning coding, uh, I think, you know, you take a deep breath, you know, take a jump, a uh, leap of faith, use this because it will allow you to modify code, copy, paste. Uh, it's kind of very handy, especially if, if you are modify, uh, modifying code, presenting, teaching, you know, those kind of things. Example, what I'm doing right now, right? So I'm going to press shift enter. I will say, hey, Obviously, it's going to throw an error. It says one x input. Okay, in this line, I have an error. What kind of error? Value error. I'm going to run again. Shift enter. I press eight, so no error. Shift enter again. I will say, hey, it throws an error. So I want to be prepared for that. So what I will do here is, I will copy this. I will say try, paste, right, and I will say accept, right, accept value error. Uh, I want to say print, please enter an integer, right, integer, all right, that's correct. So enter, I will say hey, it will say please enter an integer. If I type an integer, it won't do anything, it will just proceed because it did not receive value error. What if you're not doing just this, you're doing something else with it, you are, let's say you're saying why uh, equals uh, x zero, right? You're doing this as well, right? And I will say enter, and I will say hey, okay, it said please enter an integer, okay, and I what I will do is I will enter an integer this time, I'll press eight, it still throws an error saying, you know, eight uh, modulus zero, no, we can't do that because it's a zero division error. Right, so that is a pretty valid error. So we want to be prepared for that error as well. So you can add one more exception. R, the best way is if you want to catch all the exceptions. I think that would be a better way to do it. All right, I want to catch the exception. I will say something. Okay, I will say something went wrong. Right. So press enter, I will say eight, it says something went wrong. Press enter, I will type hey, it says something went wrong. So no matter what it says, something went wrong. What if you don't want to do that? You want to know what exactly went wrong. So you will say E. So it's a Python-ish way of doing accept exception as E. So if there is an exception, you consider that exception as E, or you store that exception inside a variable called E, and then you print that E, right? So I'm gonna do that now. I will type hey, <laughs> okay, I don't know. Harry, no, not Harry, I want to say hey. 
so it throws right and I'm gonna type 8 so whatever the exception is it throws that exception it tells me what that exception is so what if we want to do if we are doing more so I'm gonna expand this a bit then I will say print we okay we did not encounter any exceptions so let's say i will type hit enter and i will type okay instead of zero i have to put it make it one uh i will type one okay let me enter this again uh, i will type eight here it says we did not encounter any exceptions right uh, that is because uh, eight uh, divisible by you know, modulo one is that it will not throw an error, right? That should work mathematically. Now, what I want to do here is enter. I will say, hey, so it threw an error, so else did not print out. So, if there are no exceptions before this else clause, then only this else will run. Right, so that is when you're using try except else combination. You should always make a note of that. So try, it will run all the codes which are there line by line. So wherever it receives the first exception, it will stop all the other code. It will not run this line at all, right? It will not go to this line at all. If it receives an exception here, it will directly jump to this line, right? And if try runs fine, you know, this one, try, you know, oh, everything runs fine here. It will not go here. It will directly go to else. But there is one more which supersedes everything. That is finally. It says we, um, what should I type? I say I will run no matter what and that is why i am called finally okay so i will hit enter here so i will say hey so exception exception happened here so it this one did not run uh i and the exception was invalid invalid literal for integer so it's not an integer i did not enter into enter an integer that's why it threw an error so i'm going to shift uh enter again and i will type eight uh or minus one this time we did not encounter an error so what if i i you know uh define you know uh, uh some option there saying if x less than one uh, what you do is raise exception so i want to define my own exception okay whatever python has done here it's not enough so i always want to be uh, want this uh, x to be greater than zero no, a positive number right so what i will do now here is hit enter i will type minus one right what happened okay uh, raise exception and uh, I'm gonna print that exception as well no right what should I print okay I will say as e and here I have not defined an exception so what I will do here I'll just say this and I will say the value is less than one right so shift enter so control enter okay kernel is busy i did a mistake all right restart and run cells hmm okay i think this kernel is going to be stuck here for a while i'm going to copy this all right Hopefully this comes back. If not, hmm, I will hate this. Okay, the kernel is stuck here as you can see. Well, what I can do here, I can close this, leave. And I can go here, shut down. Then I can click on this one. 
and the kernel should come back on consider this as another lesson shift enter and here oops what did i do okay i will say eight oops eight okay there's a spelling mistake here raise exception right and i want to say exception as print i will say what do i want to say i want to say input is less than one okay control enter i will say minus one it says input is less than one what if i want to do i don't want to do that here raise exception and um, i can just print here print well that will not go there so yeah uh once an exception happens it won't go beyond that right it won't and even if i try to print it after this or put this here right it won't it will never run because okay i will show that to you as well i will input is wrong so let's see what happens i will say minus one as you can see input is not input is wrong did not print out but this one printed out so you can raise your own exception uh, or you can use the python-ish the built-in exceptions it's uh, i hope you digested at least you know uh, 70 80 percent of it because this is kind of important if you are uh, coding in uh, an environment where it will be used by multiple applications especially if you are in a web development environment or something right so thank you for tuning in sharing is caring take care bye